let's go through how to prepare for any new hero. 7k dreamer please. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. There seemed to have been an accidental leak on Mobirum that the third Pentagon member Orca is coming out next update. So I wanted to make this checklist video about what you need to prepare in general for any new hero coming out because it is important to be ahead of the PvE meta instead of playing catch up. The first thing to hoard are elements. Minimally, you will need 6 4 star and 6 5 star versions of the element. How do you know what elements will be needed for a hero? There is one point of reference, and that is to look at the Korea server. 80% of the time, our new hero will have the same elemental type. However, we have had several exceptions to date, such as Lee Bai, Clement, Platine, and Ares, who received changes. To be safer, I would like to believe that apart from the actual elemental type from Korea server, any hero can also be the universal type. So you should always have a good amount of dark elements on hand. And judging from trend, hoarding fire and water elements is the wiser way to play as well. The next thing you need to have a lot of is gold. I'll break down all the most probable costs for you if you want to get your new hero from level 1 to level 50. The first step is to power that up to plus 5. To power up a 4 star using 3 star heroes only, you need 31,500 gold. After powering up, you need to rank them up from 4 star to 5 star. This costs 50,000 gold. Repeat the above steps all the way to your hero is at 6 star. Note that you need to repeat these for every single copy of the new hero so you will be required to build 6 copies. The total amount spent in just powering up and ranking up from 4 star will be 1,372,500 gold. Note that this cost is ultimately variable and it depends on how many fodders you actually used. The more fodders you use, the more costly it becomes. You will need to power up one base 6 star copy of the new hero to plus 5 which will cost 66,500 gold. Thereafter, you can finally awaken him or her with 300,000 gold. Once awakened, the hero needs to become plus 10 via awakening power up and this will cost 120,000 gold. Then comes Mythical Awakening which costs 3 million gold with Mythical Power Up costing another 3 million gold. Once this base copy is ready, the next step is to transcend him or her. Transcending from level 40 to 50 will cost a total of 2,100,000 gold. And now you have a level 50 plus 10 new hero. So you will need to further enhance him or her by unlocking his or her exclusive item fully with 3 million gold. Of course, you can already do this from level 40 to 44, but I decided to explain this separately to show the numbers more clearly. The next part is unlocking and upgrading traits under Limit Break. It costs 900,000 gold in total to fully upgrade basic traits. It costs 300,000 gold in total to unlock special trait slots. It then costs a further 6,525,000 gold to upgrade all three special traits to their maximum level. So, if we sum up everything from getting a level 1 4 star copy to getting a completely built level 50 plus 10 copy, it will cost an exact figure of 20,684,000 gold. And then you will wonder, is it even possible to get that much gold in just a matter of 2 weeks? Well, of course, if you farm in map 820 with hot time for 4 hours, you can get at least 4 million gold in that duration. Of course, you need to make sure that your farmer is efficient enough to clear the waves. So that means if you do this for about 5 days, you will definitely be able to hit the goal of 21 million gold. Your other sources of gold include Nightmare Grove Dungeon where you get 300,000 gold daily so in a week, you will also get 2,100,000 gold which is the same amount as the transcendence cost. Of course, to speed things up, you can sell duplicate copies of 6 star special heroes which give 1 million gold each. So there are two resources which you also must have and they are used in the hero building process mentioned earlier and they are 6 star normal heroes and soul essences. You need 54 6 star normal heroes minimally. 4 are used in Awakening Power Up from plus 5 to plus 10, and then another 50 are used in Mythical Power Up from 0 to plus 10. I have made a video about how to get at least 50 6 star normal heroes in just a matter of 10 days, so you can check that out. Of course, you can also use power up crystals for these processes too. So, essences are needed for the upgrading of special traits, and you need a total of 26,100 soul essences to get all 3 special traits completed. How do you get Soul Essence? By selling Leia's which give you 5,000 Soul Essence, selling Gold Frame Special Heroes which give 4,500 Soul Essence, and Blue Frame Special Heroes which give 2,200 Soul Essences. 
Another thing you need to be hoarding are fusion pairs. This means having a good amount of 3 star plus 5 and 4 star plus 5 fodders all stored up in your inventory. Ultimately, there is still a chance to get new heroes from fusions, though I'm not too sure what are the exact rates. So whenever a new hero arrives, do fusions first to not only clear space for your pools later, but also just in case you are super lucky and get some copies from fusion, then you can save on rubies, which is the most 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 important currency you need to have a lot of. New heroes are not added to selectors until at least 6 to 8 weeks later, so the only way to get them is really only from gacha pools, which cost you rubies. So when there is speculated news of new heroes coming, always start saving. I don't want to tell you what is a good number because it really depends on your luck, but let's just say 25,000 to 30,000 rubies for a goal to get a few copies should be good enough. If you have made it this far into the video, let me give you some RNG potions for you to have better luck in the next new hero summon. And jokes aside, this is the overall summary screen for everything that was covered in this episode of Aragorn Always Assist and hopefully from now you will have a better plan to prepare for any new special hero coming your way. If you found this video helpful, do give it a like and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and see you!